But first, back to our top story. Hillary and Bill Clinton scrambling right now to defend their family's foundation and the access its donors had to Hillary Clinton when she was Secretary of State. Watch. We did provide a lot of life-saving work. I'm proud of the work that my husband started, and he did. We provided a, a massive amount of information. We're trying to do good things. If there's something wrong with creating jobs and saving lives, I don't know what it is. And it, the people who gave the money knew exactly what they were doing. And I have nothing to say about it. I'm very except I'm really proud. I'm proud of what they've done. All this after an AP report found more than half of the non-government officials who met with then-Secretary Clinton gave money to the Clinton Foundation, including an economist from Bangladesh, an author, uh, uh, numerous people, a number of different countries there uh, that were able to gain access. Uh, the State Department has said that they are unaware of any agency actions influenced by the foundation, but the appearance of Hillary Clinton being for sale uh, is still there for many. As all this suspicion surrounds President Clinton's announcement that the foundation would make major changes if his wife is elected, uh, would that actually happen now? Some guests on this very program defended that move. Watch. If you shut it down today, all the work that the foundation has been doing stops, said it should be stops, shut down. stops immediately. So give it time to complete the work that it's doing, and it's done. I am uncomfortable sitting here knowing that people in my family Samuel. are going to die because everyone wants to lie Samuel. about what this Clinton no, Foundation no, no, no. does. Yeah, yeah. All right, and Donald Trump is fear-mongering? After we heard that her family's going to die if the Clinton Foundation doesn't go on? All right. Will this latest scandal permanently damage Hillary Clinton with just about 75 days left to go? Joining me right now with, with more, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall and Republican strategist Ford O'Connell. All right, Ford. Um, you know, I don't know what happened there. You don't know what happened. None of us know what happened. But, uh, you know, as I've said from the beginning, it's the appearance of this whole thing. I do not know why there wasn't more of a Chinese wall in their household than what we have seen. Is this well, look, going to cost her? Well, it, it all depends on whether or not Donald Trump is able to bring out questions of her integrity <clears throat> over questions of his personality. Look, no amount of foundational good works excuses Hillary Clinton while Secretary of State from selling access in favors to rogue foreign governments and unsavory individuals. The fact that they're pushing back saying people are going to die is the false tearjerker of 2016. Look, there's thousands and thousands of life-saving organizations and foundations. If the Hillary Clinton and her family want to continue its mission, they should basically transfer its assets to another organization like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, mm -hmm. and they can continue that mission. This is nonsense because it doubles as a political operation for her ambitions. Here's one of my questions in all this, Leslie. I mean, her husband now saying, okay, we will basically effectively shut this down or at least keep ourselves completely separate from the foundation should she win the presidency. Why didn't they do that when she was Secretary of State? Well, first of all, she wasn't working there except for a period of after she was Secretary of State before she announced her run in 2015 to, uh, to be president um, in November. Uh, secondly, um, th there is nothing criminal here. And even though I agree with you, appearances have a lot. Uh, you know, I was looking back, and let's just use one example. Um, Bob Dole's wife was the head of Red Cross. I'm sure when he was a senator and running for president, if he had been elected president and she made a phone call, hey, can you help me get some supplies through? Can you meet with somebody in a different country? Because remember with the Clinton Foundation, just one example, when the World Health Organization's malaria vaccines were no longer working, the Clinton Foundation stepped up and had vaccines that were. Going to some countries in Africa, Africa, for example, you're going to have somebody perhaps contact the State Department if they have trouble getting things into another country. Can people pull strings? Yes. But for what? For the betterment of what the foundation is trying yeah, to do. I mean, but, but at the same time, Ford, you know, I, I keep going back to this UBS example, right? Because UBS, United Bank of Switzerland, um, they needed some help when Hillary Clinton was the newly named Secretary of State, getting uh, roughly 55,000 clients off the hook for tax evasion that the IRS was looking into. So they went to the State Department. Sure enough, the State Department helped out. Turned out uh, most of those people, other than about 4,500 of them, Ford, were let off the hook. And the IRS uh, you know, said, look, we're not, we're not going to investigate them anymore. So what do you know? Bill Clinton gets a $1.5 million speaking fee from UBS uh, shortly thereafter, and they donate a ton more money to the Clinton foundation. 
I guess, you know, again, we, we don't know if there was any quid pro quo, and it'll take a serious investigation to figure all that stuff out. But again, appearance, if she knew she was going to run for president, why didn't she say to Bill, hey, hun, sit this one out. Don't take any money from UBS. I'm doing a deal with them. Because this was all about basically gaining influence for a presidential run. Remember, a lot of Clinton donors also gave to her campaign. And think about this for a minute. If you're a UBS and you want to do altruism and good works, why do you give to the Clinton Foundation versus, say, as Leslie pointed out, the Red Cross or the Gates mm -hmm. Foundation because you wanted access and influence with Hillary Clinton? And it's not just UBS. You also have the fast tracking of government contracts and the Haitian recovery sham project, essentially, mm -hmm. where Claudio. Astorio so is now let, sitting let in jail. Quickly, is anybody even going to care? I, I only say that because it seems like there's a lot that's been brought up about Hillary Clinton already, right? I mean, we've already talked about the email server, and you know, she operated one, you know, for, for whatever reason, uh, and, and somehow the FBI is like, oh, okay, whatever, and, and voters aren't responding to it. Are they going to care? Do you think Ford? about this anymore? I mean, I think they should, but it, it seems as though it's not having a big effect on poll numbers. Well, yeah, actually, it's starting to, to, to create some uptick for Donald Trump. But I agree, if it wants to be a game changer, you're going to have to show a causal link. Or you may even show something like money laundering. There's a lot of other arms of the Clinton Foundation in Canada and in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of unanswered questions here. The question is, do we get to that smoking gun? If it does, Donald Trump could become the 45th president of the United Leslie, States. Leslie, is this going to cost her at any point? Again, just the appearance of it all? No, I don't think so. I think with Trump, he's speaking to the choir and the Trump supporters who already don't like her, aren't going to vote for her. People that are don't care. And polls actually show that whether it's an email scandal or this scandal, one, she's already got high untrustworthy numbers. So the, and, and that's not yeah, taking away her lead in many but, battleground states or on a national level. So no, I don't think so. I, I, I have to agree somewhat that it would have to be, okay, here are the dots. Uh, here is yeah, the criminal well, element. People are working on that. You get judicial watch that's going through 15,000 emails well, right now. That, I, I got to leave it there. Uh, thanks so much. It's good to see you, Leslie and Ford.